An end to the year 2022 was celebrated over the past weekend, but with that, it could sometimes lead to impaired driving. SGI hasn't received the exact number of offenses from police yet for December, although many check stops were put in place to ensure drivers got home safely. The hope for drivers in the holiday season were to make good choices and drive home sober. Even if any events were unplanned, SGI wants people to know that there are always options. Well, you know, we encourage people, like even if it means waking somebody up out of their uh, out of a nice um, a nice sleep, uh, getting them out of their nice warm bed. Um, anybody who cares about you would be happy to do that rather than get a knock on the door from a law enforcement officer to to tell you that they to tell them that they that you weren't coming home. SGI's most recent public awareness campaign is based on the importance of finding that safe ride home. Law enforcement made sure to try and keep impaired driving incident numbers down by staying out on the streets through December. We want to thank, of course, the, the law enforcement throughout Saskatchewan who gave up their uh, holidays, their, their New Year's Eve time with their families to ensure that everybody else was out on the road and, and doing so safely. We had a really high number of check stops throughout Saskatchewan throughout the holiday season. Um, law enforcement were out there as they are each and every year. Uh, looking for impaired drivers and making sure that people were driving sober. Local resident Austin Burgess was also keeping impaired drivers off the roads by offering free rides through New Year's Eve. By giving over 50 rides in the border city, he wanted people to have a memorable and safe night to kick off 2023. Don't get me wrong, uh, drinking is so much fun, but if you get an impaired, it's going to affect you for the rest of your life, right? So it's one thing to not only help that, but also, of course, it's preventing accidents as well. So um, as long as what I did saved one family from a heartbreak or a potential heartbreak, I did my job. This month, police in Saskatchewan are on the lookout for drivers not wearing their seatbelts. Jace Mackey has more on this month's traffic safety spotlight. Well, we're into a new year, but SGI is focusing on an old problem. Seatbelt safety is this month's traffic safety spotlight. I'm joined by Tyler McMurchy from SGI to talk a little more about this. So, Tyler, I think for a lot of people, getting into their vehicle and putting their seatbelt on is just second nature. It's that habit that you just do without even thinking about it. But there is still a number of people every single year in Saskatchewan that are um, found to be driving without their seatbelt. Yeah, a significant number of people get caught in Saskatchewan. On any given month, actually, we see an average of uh, 341 people ticketed for not wearing a seatbelt or not having uh, one of their passengers properly restrained. So uh, it's still something that happens. Uh, unfortunately, it uh, also is reflected in our, our collision statistics, uh, specifically the collision fatalities that we see in Saskatchewan. People not wearing their seatbelts are highly overrepresented in those. Now, it it's, seems like such a simple thing to do and get in your car, put your seatbelt on, and it can, it can save your life in, in, in those situations. It, it really is. I mean, we're, we're putting this in the, kind of the context of the new year, right? We've flipped over another page in the calendar, and we've got a whole year ahead of us, and a lot of people make New Year's resolutions. Sometimes they stick to them, sometimes they don't. Well, if you're not one of those people who, every time they get into a vehicle, clicks, up their, uh, clicks their seatbelt, um, Maybe this is a, a resolution that you can make. It, uh, it's good for your health, of course. Uh, it greatly reduces the chance you'll be injured or worse in a collision. It's very easy. It's a lot easier than losing weight or learning a new language. A lot quicker than that, too. So uh, we really encourage people that uh, as they uh, head into 2023, they should do so with their seatbelts securely fastened. Now, when it comes to wearing seatbelts, too, another uh, another thing that people should uh, be considering, especially if they have children in their vehicle, is making sure that their children are pop properly restrained, especially in a child seat. Uh, people need some help with that. There are obviously different places they can go to make sure that they have their seatbelt or car seat secure in their vehicle. Yeah, that's an excellent point, uh, Jace. Uh, on uh, the SGI website, in fact, if you search out uh, car seats, you'll, you, you can find a list of car seat technicians that are located throughout Saskatchewan. You can make an appointment with them to have your, uh, your car seat checked out. Um, in the summer, particularly, there's lots of uh, car seat clinics that happen in various locations in the province as well. So if you want to uh, know if your uh, car seat is, is in there uh, um, properly and is keeping your child safe and snug, that's a, a great resource and it's free of charge, of course. Uh, it's uh, something that uh, we all want to make sure that we uh, 
keep our most precious cargo safe and snug, of course. And, uh, you know, there is also the responsibility of the driver. If you're driving a vehicle and you've got a passenger under the age of 16, it is your responsibility to make sure that that, uh, that passenger is uh, properly restrained. And for kids, that means being in the appropriate car seat or booster. Now, one thing I wanted to uh, bring up as well was making sure other objects in your vehicle are properly restrained. Seatbelt may seem uh, like second nature to a lot of people, but making sure that they have some of those objects that could become projectiles, making sure they're secured is also important. That's a really great point. And, and one of the things that we, we ask people to, to consider as well is not necessarily a traffic safety uh, act offense, uh, a fine associated with it, but it is common sense. If your vehicle was to be involved in a rollover or have to come to a sudden spot, a sudden stop, what's going to be flying around inside that vehicle and what potentially might cause uh, the, the people in that vehicle some harm. So, you know, things like a, a, a heavy travel mug filled with coffee or a uh, bags, uh, an iPad or a pair of skates in the back seat. These are all things like if your vehicle was involved in a rollover are going to be flying around in the inside of that vehicle. And uh, even if you as the passenger are securely in place, um, that those things could put you in danger. So as best you can, uh, we all have things in our vehicles, of course, but as best you can, making sure that the, the objects in the, uh, in the passenger compartment are, are secured fast, um, uh, suitably so they, they don't pose a danger to you in the event of a collision. Awesome. That's a great message, uh, Tyler. Thanks again for talking with us. It's always great to connect. Hey, great talking to you, Jace. Looking forward to chatting more in 2023. Our Stacey Comer continues her Synergy Credit Union series, and today they speak on budgeting. We are continuing our financial literacy series with Synergy Credit Union today, and we have Amira and Charity back with me today. Thank you guys for joining me. Yeah, thank, thank you, you for, for having, having us. Okay, so today we're going to switch it up a little bit, and we're going to talk about a budget and emergency savings. So one of the most common misconceptions is that a budget is basically only needed for people who are in trouble. But why do you think it's not a good idea just to rely on your account balance? Mm -hmm. Knowing your balance is important, but it doesn't do a good job of telling you what you can afford each month. So let's say you just got paid and you paid your rent and your utility bills and you have $1,000 left in your account. So you think, great, I can buy that new tablet I've been eyeing up. Mm -hmm. And many people forget to take other expenses into consideration, right? So your rent and bills are paid, but maybe you have other payments such as your credit card payments, maybe automatic savings contribution, or maybe you've forgotten a check that you may have written for hockey fees or donations, right? So a budget is very important. Uh, why do you think it's important for uh, people to have a budget just to begin with? Yeah, so having a budget can help you plan for future while ensuring that your co uh, expenses are covered. So it also gives you that confidence in making financial decision and you know, we know that healthy budget um, helps you to plan for your future and also living within your means while also uh, making sure that your short term and long term goals are met. And if you're really wanting that tablet, why not make it a savings goal and allocate a percentage of your income towards that every month? This way you can make your monthly payments and make your purchase. Um, we have some great budgeting tools on our website that you can access at any time you like. So what are some of the other reasons that a budget would be important? A budget can also help you to ensure that you have some emergency savings for those unexpected situations like losing your job, having a flat tire, having to replace your dryer, those kind of things that we don't expect. We have seen firsthand in the last 10 years that people are not prepared for a sudden stop in their income. Yeah, and a budget is an excellent way to put your mind at ease. And so for tips or more resources about budgeting or emergency fund, I would recommend visiting our website and reading our blogs, watching our videos, or even booking an appointment to discuss this further. So how much would you recommend someone has in their fund? I know that it's obviously different for everybody's incomes, but, but what's a good, I guess, kind of a, a benchmark to shoot for? Yeah, for sure. So it is recommended to have three to six months expenses saved as an emergency fund. So many people don't realize that if you were to lose your job, it could take three or three months or longer, right, to find a new employment. So having an emergency fund is very important and necessary to cover your expenses during the transition. And starting an automatic savings plan is very easy. You can set it up yourself online as a reoccurring transfer from your checking to your savings each payday, or you can come and see us and we, we can set it up for you. We have so many different ways that you can save. 
So as you can see, a budget and an emergency fund both are integral parts to a strong financial foundation. Okay, and if anybody has advice, uh, or if you have advice for anybody who's starting this process, sometimes it's scary to talk to people in financial institutions for a lot of people. So what advice would you have uh, for somebody who's looking at getting started? Just take it as a small step. Um, look at what expenses that you have that you are unable to change and maybe where you can start to make some changes and start to put a little bit of money aside and just know that you're not alone. Okay, well, uh, ladies, I want to thank you so much for joining me today. There's so much good information here and a lot of uh, things to talk about. So maybe I'll just, uh, Amira, ask you one more time if people are looking for one concise spot just to get started to mm -hmm. contact whatever branch it may be, what is the best way to do that? Yeah, so the best way is to visit our website and uh, there are blogs there or videos they can watch and also booking an appointment there to, with our team member to yeah, discuss this further in an appointment at the branch. Okay, great. Well, thank you so much for your time today, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. And off with taking a quick look at your seven day forecast. We will be seeing uh, pretty uh, cool down days for Friday, Saturday for a weekend at minus 10, but you know, warmer than what we have been having before in the past. Minus five for Sunday and seeing those single digits next week. So be prepared. We will be seeing some more snowfall, but some warmer temperatures. That's all we have for now. Have a good rest of your night.